Hey guys, Mike here. So today we're on a job where we're going to do a stampable overlay. So the floor is in pretty rough shape in there. The first thing we got to do is put some self-leveling down just to level the floor out. It has quite a slope. I think it was an old garage floor with a center drain before. So we're going to use some of Sacrete's. Right there, some of Sacrete's fast setting self-leveling resurfacer just to get the floor level. All right, so we're getting ready to do the stamp below, but we've got our mixing station all ready to go. We're going to mix in the bucket. We're going to mix two bags at a time, ten, about 10 quarts of water. So in here, we're all good to go. We got it ground. We got our primer down. Primer's dry. We're ready to go. Now, this, this is just to level this floor. You, the floor sloped to that drain, so we just want to level it. And then we're going to do a stampable overlay over this, which is about three-eighths of an inch thick. So we got about two thirds of it done. You can see how nice that, that levels out. You can just see the heads of those screws, which is what we want. So it's leveling right out. Like there's one right, right there. I don't know if you can see it, but. I'm just kind of moving it around, leveling it to the screw heads. And the floor's getting nice and leveled out. We got a little bit left to go. Yeah, we got it all in, got it all self-leveled. So that's the base for another floor, stampable overlay. All right, so we're doing a stampable overlay today. We got our T1000 Butterfield stampable overlay bags. We got this is our mixing station all set up. We got a bucket we're using for mixing. We got Colomix's mixer here. Colomix. So we got our our brand new mixer. We got a backup mixer just in case. All right, we got our stampable overlay all down. Probably took us 20 minutes or so to do that. Gauge raked it, smoothed it out. Now we just gotta let it cure up, firm up enough so we can get the stamps on it. Stamps are sitting right over there. All right, so we got our overlay all stamped. 16 inch barn board, came out really, really good. So that's quarter to three eighths of an inch thick over a concrete floor. So if you're wondering how you can get stamped concrete in your house, you've already got concrete there, this is how right here. Hey everybody, so we're down here on the coast of Maine on a commercial job site today, big marina. And we got to pour some concrete up on the second deck. So we got to get the concrete up there using a conveyor truck to do it. It's only six feet wide, but it's 45 feet long. And then we're going to stamp it. So we're going to do a little stamp concrete today. Uh, this is where we're at. Getting here this morning, seven o'clock, getting the conveyor stretched out. We'll see how it works getting that up there over the cable. I think it's going to be all right. But we're just getting going here. All right, so here's the view from up here. We got it up here, got it over the top. I think it, I think that angle is going to be okay. Pretty steep, but should be able to get the concrete up there. This is what it looks like from up here, all the way around. A lot of a lot of framing going on. So anyway, they just want this this part here stamped concrete for some reason, some type of outside patio. So well, that's why we're here to do this. All right, we got a second deck, stamped concrete patio. Looking out over the, looking out over this little bit of a gulf here. Slate pattern. Looks good. breezeway to pour with a little bit of step in it down to another little slab. Get ready to pour that. I don't know if you can see, but kind of spit the snow a little bit. Supposed to be a pretty nice day today though. So this garage is 28 by 23. It's going to slope to the front. But right now we got to get some really dry stuff in that step so we can hold that step. And then we're going to shape it just shape it down into that rat slab. Here it comes. Yo, 
It'll be alright. So we'll just get enough in there just to hold that step for a little bit and then we'll we'll give it a drink pour the garage and we'll come back to this. Good morning everybody. So we got another job here. We got a patio and a garage we're doing. We tried to you can see the access we got here. We tried to get him in around the outside of the garage, but we just couldn't get enough reach. It's kind of soft. We needed to get him back to the patio, which is on the back of the house. I'll show you here. And the conveyor just wasn't long enough to reach from the first spot. So we got him, we had to back him inside the garage in order to get access. This, this post was kind of in our way here and this front tire was sinking way over there so we couldn't get it back any further there but looks like it's going to work out all right. So we got that patio to do down there and then we got the garage floor to do after. That's what we're doing here today. We got another pretty good size house we're doing today. 56 by 25. It's actually going to be a double wide home put on this. We got four inches of concrete going down. We got a six mil vapor barrier down. Just first truck just showed up on the job about 7 a.m. We got so 10 and a half yards on each truck. We got a 3,500 pound mix. We got hot water, about 110 degree water in there. We got we're using some bag flake accelerator just to give it a kick because it's pretty chilly still. And this is where we're at today. All right, second truck here, mixing up. He's usually cooler because he's later in the in the batch process. Sometimes the water cools off, so they don't allow the boiler to, to heat back up. So let's check his concrete. Just about the same, 69, 70 degrees. So both loads pretty close. Should both dry pretty evenly. Okay. All right, we got that first truck dumped out. He went about halfway. Seven yards right there. Got another seven coming right there. It's freezing. My my fingers are frozen right now. We'll get her though. This is the time of year. Just got to deal with it. Thank God we're pouring on styrofoam though. The styrofoam is going to help set up. Plus all the hot water and the, and the flake bag towel we're using. Well, that's it. All poured. 14 yards. About 25 degrees out right now. Getting him washed up. He'll be out of here in a minute. Again, thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you on the next one.